grabbed me, I was wearing one of those bolo ties. He grabbed me by the bolo tie. He was quite a big guy. And I knocked him down with the first blow, but he kept hanging on to my bolo tie. So I jump in the mix of this fight with these crazy biker chicks. I basically cold cocked him. I sucker punched him. Bam! Right? And he went out like a light. My dad was yelling at her and she threw a pot of hot tea at him. I guess you can't really call it a fist fight. I have been in probably a hundred fist fights. I get into punching matches and I would lose and still get up and still go. And I would take on the biggest guy. He was six foot one. I was four foot eleven. I was on his back passing the principal's office. So I held off and I like slugged him right in the bread basket and he dropped like a ton of bricks. I waited for him after school. He's on his bicycle, he's riding. I grabbed him up and took him behind this little uh, cement uh, block building that was there and I beat on him. And the bouncer came back and said, you know you broke his nose. And apparently I broke his nose. The blood is really dark. Black eyes, cut on the side here. I got a few scars. Grab him by the hair, right by the ear. Take him, hit his head into your knee, right? He goes, it'll daze him, he won't move, right? I don't know how many times I hit him, but it, it felt like it was about 50, because I remember at some point looking around at people and just seeing all these faces. Punched her right in the face, and I've never punched anybody in the face. <laughs> and I shot a big elastic at this guy and hit him in the ass, and he come after me, and we got into it. I got a broken nose out of the deal. <laughs>